Okay, so it's about a week to go before your exams. I'm here with Primrose Kitten. Hi. Uh, you'll probably recognise her from her channel. You've got what, thousands of videos now or something? Yeah, yeah, quite a lot of videos. A lot. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, so um, although I'm making videos as well, are we competitors? I suppose? Uh, no, I think we're working together to help you yeah. guys. I think so we're, we're sort of doing different things. So yeah. I'm concentrating more on the video side of things and you've got, what, thousands of questions oh, and workbooks? Oh, so books, many questions, workbooks, multiple choice questions, workbooks, just so much stuff to help you guys over my website. Yeah. yeah, and also I'm just doing physics, you're doing chemistry, biology, maths, Love English, chemistry. geography. Yeah, um, So a huge amount of stuff that I know nothing about. So um, really this video is more about kind of exam tips and, you know, you've got a week to go. Where What should people be thinking about? You know, hopefully they've They've been to lessons, they have sort of, they know most of the course, but you know, a week before your exams, the nerves are kicking in. Any advice? So I think a week before your exams, you need to be going over the checklist that hopefully you've been using for a month, two months now, and looking over the bits that you really are unsure about. Because weeks ago, we don't have a lot of time left, so we can't really learn large, large chunks of new information. It's more about going over things and checking that you know it. Is there any little bit that you're not very sure about? Are there any definitions where you're not 100% sure on the exact wording that's going to get you marks in the exams? So it's not about doing massive, massive chunks of stuff. It's about filling in the teeny tiny tiny niggly little gaps, those spaces, the things that are hopefully going to move you from an okay grade up to a grade that you're really, really happy with. Okay, so the worst happens, you realise that there's a little topic that you just don't know at all. What do you do then? So maybe it's something you've missed in your revision, what would be your advice for that? Well, we still have a week left. You can mm. go to our channels and find a video for mm. it. Maybe ask a teacher if they've got something, go and look in a textbook. Hopefully it is just a small, tiny little thing that you can plug in and easily fill that gap in your knowledge. Actually, I think the thing about teachers is quite good because normally, you know, in the run up to your exams, you're on study leave, and your teachers are just sort of kicking back and relaxing. They're and not, they're working no, very they hard. Are. But often if, if you maybe email or maybe somehow contact your teacher and say, you know, please can I come in and see you at this time? I think, you know, when I've been a teacher, I've often, you know, it's actually quite nice when students come in one-on-one -on -one you can actually explain that little bit, that kind of missing sort of link. Then it just, people go, oh yeah, that it, that's all. And then I think teachers, you know, we really like doing this. So if you do have the opportunity and you can get into school, then maybe just that little five minute conversation with your teacher just sorts it out. Especially if it's during when you would normally have your lesson yeah. with that teacher. You know, chances are they're going to be free, they're probably going to be marking like year 10 or year 9, mm. year 8 exams. They really want to be interrupted with questions because nobody likes marking loads and loads of exams. Exactly. So you've still got, still got a week left before your exams. There's still plenty more that you can do. So yeah, don't panic. Yeah, and I think that is the most important thing. Don't panic. Remember that hopefully you guys have been writing for a really long time now. You know lots and lots mm. of things. Even though sometimes it doesn't feel like you know lots and lots of things, you really, really do. Awesome. Thank you very much. Great.